Let's see if you have the word my party. The party is on the table, and now it's off the table, then it's on the table again. By the way, do you know why it happens like I'm writing this? Oh, stop wasting my time with such a real thing. Oh, what a beautiful day, and what lovely company. If I find that imbecile who stole my charts and off with his head. Oh, hush now, take it slow. <laughs> yeah. oh. I know, it's so <laughs> Is that her? Is that her? Of course it's her. I know her a mile away. They're so late, you know. We're all here having this tea party. It's not your fault because you're so late. You're very late. Time runs funny in dreams, you know. Well, of course it does, dear. And what do they call you? The Alice? So we're starting off with a clean and moisturized face and I'm wearing a pair of hazel color contacts for this look. So first of all, we're just going to conceal our brows using the glue stick method. I'm just using UHU stick glue stick and do make sure you use a non-toxic glue stick for this. So just apply that over both eyebrows. And after waiting for the glue to dry, I'm going to take my Dermacolor Camouflage Cream and Palette and just selecting the lightest shade in the palette. And then taking a foundation brush, just apply that camouflage cream all over the brows to conceal it. And just use a few coats to get the coverage that you want. I actually got this method from watching one of Pixie Woo's videos. And next, I'm going to take my Ben Nye HD Matte Foundation in Special White. And just using a foundation sponge, I'm going to apply this very pale foundation all over our face and our lips. And this is going to act as our base. I actually found this foundation to be very dry and quite difficult to apply evenly. Um, it doesn't matter so much for this look because we are going to go over it with color eyeshadow later on. Rah! Did I scare you? <laughs> anyway, just taking my Revlon Photo Ready Translucent Finisher and using a stippling brush, just apply that all over the face to set the foundation. And now we're just going to get started on the nose. So just taking my Coastal Sense 88 Original or Matte Palette and just selecting a light pink eyeshadow. And then taking a dense shading brush, first outline the shape of the nose and then just fill it in. And now taking my Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eye Pen in Black as Black, just use that to outline the shape of the nose and also draw a line down the middle as well. And next taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, I'm going to use it to outline my Cheshire Cat Smile. And you can just use a regular white eyeliner if you like. And then I'm just going to roughly fill it in as well. And next, taking my Diamond FX White Face Paint that I bought from iMat and just using a concealer brush, first dampen the brush in some water. And then swipe that over the white face paint so that it's ready to use. Now apply the white face paint over the entire mouth area that we just outlined before to intensify the white colour. And now going back to our Revlon liquid eye pen, use it to outline the outside of the mouth and whoopsies, I totally go off camera in this part so apologies for that. And also drawing the lines for the teeth which makes up the Cheshire Cat's big and somewhat creepy smile. And don't forget to draw a line on the philtrum, which is the groove between the nose and the lips. La la la, I feel so smart. And now taking the Coastal Sense Creative Me number one and select a pink eyeshadow shade. Use a blending brush and apply that to the lower half of the face, curving it around the shape of the mouth.
and now select the pinky purple eyeshadow shade and using a large shading brush use that color to outline the pink that you just applied and next taking the coastal scent smoky palette and select a light purple shade using a very fluffy blending brush apply that color evenly to the rest of the face And now switching to a more dense blending brush, just use it to apply a second coat of the same purple eyeshadow to intensify the colour. And now select a dark purple eyeshadow shade from the Coastal Sense Creative Me number no. 1 and just using a small shading brush, we're going to start creating some symmetrical stripes on our face but feel free to come up with your own patterns. And then apply the same purple eyeshadow to the top eyelid and also to the bottom waterline and then just wing it out to give it a cat eye effect. Meow! Now I'm just going to add some finishing touches to my purple stripes and I also decided to fill in my brows instead of drawing in those big black brows that I have in the intro um, because I think this looks much better. And once again going back to our Revlon liquid eye pen, just line the top lash line and wing it out at the end. And next using the Maybelline Definer Line Eyeliner in Ebony Black, just use it to line the bottom waterline. Okay, I should really stop with the silly faces. Um, anyway, next I'm taking a pair of very dramatic false eyelashes and just applying that carefully to my top lash line and just pressing it down with a cotton bud. And lastly, taking my Remmel Glam Eyes Liquid Liner in Black Glamour, draw in the cat whiskers using short, fast strokes. So now that we're all done with the crazy Cheshire Cat makeup, I'm just going to quickly tell you guys how I completed the hair. So all I'm going to do is pop a wig cap over my hair and then put on this big pink afro. And now I'm just going to add on my cat ears. So I'm just going to use this one on a headband. Um, I bought this from a craft store and then I just used the same material I used on my costume and I just used like double sided tape to pop these on the ears. And finally, I'm just going to talk about the costume to complete this look. And actually for this look, I did a DIY job. So I completely made my costume, which I'm quite proud of because usually I'm not a very crafty person. So I'm just going to show you guys the costume now. And this is my Cheshire Cat costume. So I just used a pair of purple leggings and a purple top. And I glued these strips of hot pink ribbon onto it. And then um, I bought a big piece of this really funky, furry, multicolored material, which I think is perfect um, for my Cheshire Cat look. So I glued that onto my wrist, onto um, the bottom of the top, and also used it as a collar and on my feet as well. So these are meant to look like the feet of the cat, and these are meant to look like the paws. 
And that's pretty much it. There's not too much else to it other than I just painted my nails like purple and pink and I did the same to my toenails as well. And I'll just show you guys the completed look now. my completed Cheshire Cat Halloween transformation tutorial and honestly I had so much fun making this video and I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching it as well. Remember you can always check out my blog at misspixielulu.com for lots more photos on this look and also on the collaboration as well. So I hope you guys all have a safe and fun Halloween and I'll see you all soon. Bye!